Yo, what up? Marvin here with Stay Fit with the Lord, where we help you to improve your spirit and fitness by focusing on God first. And on this channel, we do a lot of videos on the actions to take to grow your relationship with God and to improve your health. So if you're new here, consider subscribing so that you're notified every time a new video comes out. Give this video a like if you're wanting to grow your relationship with God. Let me ask you a question. What would be your choice of weapon if you knew that you were going in into a spiritual battle? Would it be a knife? Would it be a gun? Or would it be a sword? I will be going over scripture in the Bible where it tells us to pick up our sword of the spirit which is the word of God and ways to implement this weapon that God has blessed us with. In this video, coming up. In the Bible, in Hebrews 4.12, it says, For the word of God is living and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Here, the Bible tells us that the Word of God is living. Not only is it living, but it's powerful. And it tells us that the Word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. I don't know who this is for, but that's an encouragement that the Word of God is alive and is powerful. Remember that whenever you go through struggles, through pain, through loss, anything you may go through, remember that the Word of God is powerful and can help you overcome any situation. So I wanna encourage you to remember that scripture, that the Word of God is powerful. Also, it's a sword, a two-edged sword, which can break through any obstacles that the enemy might be throwing against you. So remember, the sword is powerful, it's the Word of God. Roman soldiers use their sword to protect themselves and to attack the enemy. In a spiritual battle, the sword belongs to the Holy Spirit. In order for the soldier to get the most out of his sword, it was critical for that soldier to receive rigged training on the proper use of the sword. As a soldier of Christ, you need the same rigged training to know how to use to its maximum the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. A weapon is only as good and effective as the person using it knows how to properly use it. So meaning that if you don't know how to use the sword of the Spirit, then it will not be as effective as it could be. So how can you use the sword of the Spirit effectively? You have to strive towards understanding the Word of God by reading the Bible and using scripture to fight back against the enemy. You have to spend time with your Father Jesus Christ by reading His Word in the Bible daily. So that we can understand it more fully, let's break it down. So the Holy Spirit uses the power of the Word to save your soul. Then the Holy Spirit gives you spiritual strength to be a mature soldier, to fight and to build God's kingdom in this corrupt and evil world we live in. The more you understand the Word of God, the more you will be useful in the kingdom of God and the more effective you will be in standing against the enemy of your soul. Something that I do that has helped me to spend time daily with my Father Jesus Christ is I write it on my plan. Research shows that if you write down your goals and plan for them, you have a better chance of achieving them. So I write on my planner, spend time with God first. Also, I read the Bible first thing in the morning and before going to sleep. And guys, I don't read the Bible for hours. Most of the times, it's not even a chapter. All the times is two to three sentences. I want you to start doing this. Just read the Bible two to three sentences every day and see the difference that it will make when you spend time with your Father Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you to pick up your sword of the Spirit to attack and protect yourself from the devil's lies. So I challenge you today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year, but today to really pray deep and ask God to give you the strength and power. That first thing in the morning, you will put on the whole armor of God, which includes the sword of the Spirit. And trust me, He will. So I highly encourage you to give it a try. Nah, you know what? Scratch that. Don't try it. Do it. You're watching this video for a reason, right? So take action and do it. Do this for seven days and comment below with your experience to encourage others. I hope you found this message powerful and helpful and that God bless you with the revelation on why you should pick up the sword of the spirit every day. My mission is to help people stay fit with the Lord. 
Just like we go to the gym to improve our health. I want people to come to this channel to renew their spirit. But I can't do it by myself. I need your help. So if you want to support my mission, please make sure to do these three things. Number one, like this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, share this video. So if God used this video to speak to you, please don't keep it to yourself. Share this video right now with someone that you think God will use to renew their spirit just like he did right now with you. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. It really helps me a lot. Until next time, stay fit with the Lord is helping you to improve your spirit and fitness by focusing on God first and giving you actions to take to grow your relationship with God and to improve your health. This was a six video series where we looked at the six pieces of the full armor of God. Make sure to look at the previous videos where we talked about each one of them and guys this was a powerful six video series and i hope and pray that god will continue to use them to encourage you to put on the whole armor of god daily to protect yourself from the enemy make sure to revisit them when you need encouragement from god guys to be honest i didn't think i was going to be able to put out all these six videos on each topic of the full armor of god but it wasn't by my might it was by god's might all glory to god for giving the strength and power to be consistent and to be able to concentrate and put out these messages that are going to impact the world that are going to reach people that need some encouragement that he reveals to me as I spend time with him, as I read the Bible, these revelations just, uh, God blesses me with these revelations when I read the Bible. So guys, I wanna encourage you to continue to read your Bible daily. At first, you may not understand it. At first, you may not know what's going on, but man, just keep reading it. Read it every day, every day, every day. I'm a living testimony. When I read the Bible the first time, I did not understand it. I was lost. But as I kept reading it daily, 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 praying to God to speak to me, to reveal himself, to show me what he wanted me to learn, to show me what he was wanting, to, wanting me to learn from the Bible, to show me what it meant, what I was reading, to, for him to reveal himself, for me to get to know him more by reading the Bible, for me to deepen my relationship with God by reading the Bible. God started to speak to me and he started to reveal to me and I was able to understand the stories in the Bible and God blessed me with being able to just encourage you guys. Um, this channel came from me reading the Bible and God just revealing that he wanted me to be able to speak to the younger generation out there that were once like me, lost in the world, chasing uh, money, chasing girls, chasing cars, chasing the world, everything that's of the world. And that's why this channel came about, to be able to encourage anyone out there that God wants to use for his kingdom, for his glory. Guys, I'm not a pastor. I didn't go to Bible school. I don't have training in this whatsoever but I just been doing what God spoke to me, what God put in my heart to do, and I've been doing it every day consistently. So man, I just wanna encourage you, if God put a dream in your heart, it's for a reason. Continue to follow that dream daily. Do that small step each day, every day, every day, every day, every day. I'm a living testimony. This channel has grown. I don't know who this is for. Maybe God has called you to be a pastor. Maybe God has called you to a career maybe god has called you has put something in your heart that you're looking at it right now and you're wondering how am i ever going to achieve this how am i going to get there take it day by day day by day make a good choice towards it make it choice towards it decide that you're going to follow it no matter what just decide 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 and as you move forward you're going to learn what you need to learn as you move forward you're going to apply and you're going to learn so much stuff guys if i can do it you can do it so man i just want to encourage you that if god put in your heart to start a youtube channel and for you to start encouraging people with uh scripture bibles with encouragement with positivity anything man i want to encourage you just do it start it do it don't think about it pray about it it doesn't have to be a youtube channel if god put in your heart to start that business if god put in your heart to continue uh, to change careers to follow your dreams to follow your passion to follow your purpose do it don't hold back don't think what if just 
go do it and God is gonna provide God is gonna guide you God is gonna the Holy Spirit will guide you so man I just want to encourage you with that let's continue to stay fit with the Lord and let God change and transform us spiritually and physically let me know what kind of video you would like me to do or any comments you may have in the comment section below yeah have a blessed day peace out and remember there's only one way to stay fit for life and that's Stay fit with the Lord.